Hey, what is up, everybody? You get a little bit of daytime scape because uh, I was actually home. I had a short day at work and they dropped this new video about the progress path. As you know, we've all been curious about the progress path and how they're going to do it. So it's good to get some of this information. I am not going to cover the whole video. I'm just going to, you know, talk about a couple points that give me concerns, basically, uh, because as much as I am excited about the idea of having access to everything, I worry about how they're going to do it just because of how they've done some stuff in the past. And I think I have some fair concerns that maybe you guys share and we'll see and you guys can tell me what you think as well but if you're curious about watching the whole video i will put it down below but i want to play this clip and then i want to talk about a couple points all right this is basically covering the whole idea of how this is going to work or how they intend it so i'm going to play this clip and then we'll talk about it Within the new system, all max and weapons will be split into categories currently codenamed tiers these are specially designed to suit a specific state of game progression. You'll gradually get access to max and weapons in the higher tiers okay. as you progress within the game and unlock them. To progress and unlock the next tier, you need to acquire and upgrade max and weapons available within the current one. For your actions, you get stars, equivalent to the rank of the thing you've unlocked. Listen to that, stars. So, a rank 3 Ares will provide you with 3 stars. Mm -hmm. A mech of weapon rank up will add 1 star. Simple. Let's look at an example. To unlock tier 3 and acquire mechs or weapons from it, you need to collect, say, 10 stars in tier 2. So, to earn those stars, you acquire a slingshot at rank 2, plasma cannon at rank 2, rank them up 3 times, and there you go. You have 10 stars, and tier 3 is unlocked. Now, to progress further, you need to unlock tier 4, which means acquiring max and weapons in tier 3, and earning, say, 12 stars there. You should also keep in mind an important thing. At this point, ranking a Puma or anything else from Tier 2 won't affect your progress anymore. Now, I just wanted to back up and then bring it to this screen because this was a good example, at least, to talk about my concerns with this. Now, if you couldn't catch it, what she was trying to say is that each time you want to get from one tier to the next tier, you have to have a certain amount of stars accrued to be able to unlock the next tier. That basically means you have to upgrade probably with the exact same system we currently have, upgrade your stuff in that tier to get to the next tier, all right? That means, in this case, like looking at this, there's gonna be times when you have trash items that you have to upgrade, like in this case, Puma and Slingshot, to get to the next tier to be able to get Guardian and Shadow. And not only that, it appears as though Guardian and Shadow are still going to be worth eight coins and namely the eight coins that they already were or like their actual value on the current progress path. This is insane to me because it means that we are going to have to waste our resources to upgrade stuff we don't care about and then also pay for the item that we want on the progress path as we move up a tier. All right, that's crazy bonkers. Cause I mean, think about stuff like Surge that everyone wants already. You have to save up 9,000 A coins. But if it means that for the tier before, let's say Cheeto is on there, you have to rank them up to like five or six to have enough stars to be able to get Surge. There's no way you're gonna have the A coins you need to be able to get Surge then. Not only that, you'll have to spend all the resources on stuff you don't even care about, as well as try to survive with that gear. And I have no idea how any of this is gonna affect matchmaking, all right? Already using a two or three star Puma or Slingshot is gonna be tough with matchmaking, but if you've gotten yours up to four and five stars to be able to help you move up to the next tier, but you still have to use it, then what are you gonna be matched against? Like what kind of enemies and all this stuff are you gonna get because you went that high in the upgrade process with that stuff to be able to just function and get the things you want on the progress path. Now, I understand they're doing what they got to do, and I understand the idea of making people use certain things or giving it at least some value until you move up, but to just force more resource needs on us is crazy. Now, I did bring this up to the developers and talked about if there's going to be this higher resource need, then re more resources need to be provided. I said like double or triple in my mind of what we would normally get on stuff. I don't know if that means more crates or just alternate ways to get different A coins and different resources, but like it needs to be there. And, and they did say that that was understandable from my kind of conversation with them, but that still didn't answer if they're going to do it and what they're gonna do to try and even this out. It didn't sound like they wanna make things cheaper, but there's always this overall concern of all of this. 
Now, I also wanted to quickly say something about this screen where they were talking about how the tiers work, right? Because they're trying to basically tell you that if you are on tier three, you can't upgrade tier two stuff to get stars to help you move up to tier four. So basically you are forced to upgrade to X amount of stars in every single tier, which again is crazy. I've played plenty of games that have unlocks based on stars into new areas or getting new items, but it's cumulative. It is about all of the stars, not based on one specific tier group. So if they're gonna say that in each specific tier group, we have to do all this extra upgrading as opposed to maybe upgrading other stuff that we liked better in a previous tier or you know was cheaper at least at some point to upgrade, that's crazy, once again. It's just, again, forcing us to spend practically the max amount per tier to make sure that, you know, they get all the resources out of us that they can. And I'm really just, I'm not liking that element of it. And uh, it makes everything seem even more expensive. All right, now I'm not gonna show the footage for this because you guys, if you really wanna watch it, you can watch the video again, I will link it below. But they also ans asked the question, what will happen to the current progress path? They did say that it is going to stay in place, but they are going to take all of the mechs and the weapons out of it. So it's really just going to be crates, eight coins, credits, that kind of stuff. All right. It's going to hold minimal value to anyone aside from just getting a few resources free here and there. Not a whole lot of benefit at all. So XP gain in general is completely useless aside from just grabbing a few resources here and there. All right. This basically means that you're going to want to take as much advantage out of the current progress path as you can, because based on what we've heard and what we know so far, I don't don't see it being cheaper for any of the new stuff coming out. So any advantage you could take now to get stuff, please do. They did say in the later on in the video that um, they plan on, you know, releasing this new progress path uh, a few months after the grade update, and we've had it for about a month. So my guess is this new progress path is probably about two months away. So try to use those two months as best as you can to get everything you want out of the current progress path as you won't have it later. I gotta say, I, as much as I like the fact that we're gonna have access to everything, doing it this way where we're forced to be sacked and practically use garbage items to get to the next tier at certain times is not something I like. And I, I appreciate that, you know, maybe some of this makes us well-rounded and makes us get used to certain things, but all of us have a certain play style we like. If you're uh, like a sniper, you're not gonna wanna use someone like, I don't know, a, a cheetah. I guess you could still snipe with it, but if, if, you, if you're a sniper, you don't really wanna use close range weapons or different kind of stuff like that. Um, or if you like to play with tanks, you probably don't want to use certain other speedier mechs or ones that are more aggressive. You just have certain play styles that all of us get into. And I've always appreciated that this game, at least for a time, less so lately with the grade updates, uh, that, you know, you were able to play the styles that you want. But now you're kind of forced into that. And what's even more concerning to me is, again, with this whole grade update, it means that you are going to be sacked with items of lesser value until you can move up to the next tier that you're going to have to not only like upgrade, but also play with when you know it's pretty much garbage, or at least it's lesser value than the thing that you want that's further down the progress path. I, I mean, I know sometimes we all have to survive the best we can with the hanger that we got, but this is just taking it to the next level where I just see the gap widening and getting worse. All right. They did say at the very least, uh, I don't know if you caught that too, that um, whatever tier you're at, all the blueprints that you get are going to be based on that tier and everything you've unlocked already. So if you're on tier three, it'll give you all tier two and one stuff. So at least it's going to like try to condense or close in the blueprints you get. But as you open up more tiers, that blueprint pool is just going to get bigger and bigger. And if you had anything previously from the current progress path or anything you bought, all that is going to get put in the progress path as well. So you want to be aware of all of that. And it just makes me feel like, again, we're, we're not going to have enough blueprints. We're not going to have enough resources. And I really hope that they address that in some way. But based on the way things have been lately, I don't have a whole lot of confidence in them to do that properly. I'll be honest. All right. It just seems like it's not going to go too well. That's just my take from what we are getting from this video so far, though. I would love to hear your thoughts, your comments on what you think of this video and uh, your hopes or maybe concerns about the progress path as well. Please comment below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.